What's up guys, it's Edie from Kids Play TV and today I have the Yummy Nummies Pizza Party Maker. Um, I'm a little nervous to try this. It's supposed to taste like real cheesy pizza um, and anything that is not the real thing that's supposed to taste like the real thing kind of makes me nervous. Um, in this one you do have to use the microwave. I'm going to guess for like just to warm up the crust and rise it a little bit. And then I think you need water. Um, it is for ages 6 plus so if you're under that just have an adult supervise you while you do it and to help you um, with the microwave and the mix so you don't make a mess accidentally. So let's see what is in this. Okay, so here's the mold. We have a littler tray that is number six. I should start with number one. This is number one, um, the bigger tray. And then the, I'm gonna guess the molds for the um, crust and the pizzas themselves are number two, three, four, five. So that is the mold. Kind of set that aside here. We have a plastic pizza spatula, a spoon, and then it, it comes with a um, another water spoon, I guess you could call it. And then let me get this one open. The purple one is the crust. And then the orange one is the cheese, of course. And then the blue one is last but not least, the sauce. Okay guys, so I read the instructions. Um, I guess the first thing that you want to do is cut the pizza molds away from the mixing bowls. And it says, and I agree with it, to ask or have an adult do the scissor parts and the microwaving parts for you if you are not old enough. Okay, so I did that. And then the next thing you have to do is do seven scoops of the crust with three um, scoops of water into the number one. <clears throat> So, I have my water right there, I pre put it into the bowl, I'm going to get my crust and open it up. So now that we have our seven scoops of the crust mix in there, then we do three scoops of water. So one, two, and then three. And then I think we take the spoon now and then just mix it all together. Okay, I think that's pretty well mixed. I don't know about you guys. Maybe it's a little watery, I don't know. But hopefully it kind of rises um, when I put it in the microwave. And then it says divide the mixture evenly into trays 2, 3, 4, 5, which are these. Well, I'm going to move my water out of the way here. And then um, microwave the crust for 10 seconds and allow to cool for 30 seconds. Flatten the crust into the tray with your fingers. So, let's see. I'm going to do one spoonful each for now and see if there's any left over to kind of divide more. 
So what you might want to do is kind of tap the betray just to kind of evenly distribute it throughout the tray. That is so weird. I just kind of licked some off my finger and it tastes kind of garlicky, kind of like what you would put or think a real pizza crust would taste like. So I have high hopes for this because um, that was really good actually. So I'm going to put these in the microwave and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so now I did the microwave. Um, this one kind of is still wet, number four I think it is. Um, but I kind of try to scoop up as much of the wet part as I could. The other three seem to have turned out really well though. Um, but the next one that we're going to have to do is the sauce. Now, the sauce you put one and a half in tray six you combine one and a half scoops of sauce powder and one scoop of water mix well so here's the sauce packet let's open that up that's kind of what it looks like it smells really weird not gonna lie mixed with one I believe scoop of water. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna take this and kind of clean it off, and then mix well. It's really bright red. Like super bright red. It almost looks like candy. And then, spread the sauce over the four pizza crusts, place the pizza tray back in the microwave for five seconds, wait one minute to cool. Okay, so, this will be fun. This is like the fun part, because it's really, like you're really cooking. So, This one's the one that's a little weird. So I'm gonna try to be as careful and put it on the dry spots. Okay. So now that that's done, I'll go and put this in the microwave and for the five seconds and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so now that we have the sauce on and cooked, the final and the greatest step of all is going to be adding the cheese. So let's get this open. And that's what the cheese looks like. It kind of reminds me of like the powder that comes in with um, mac and cheese, if you guys know what I'm talking about. And since my scoop is dirty, I'm just gonna sprinkle it. Oops. I should probably kind of take some of that off. It says to like Pat it into the um, sauce. Whoopsies. That was way too much. Oh no. Maybe, maybe, I'm not gonna eat that one. That one was the messed up one anyways, right? <laughs> okay, so now that we're done with that, I think all you have to do is kinda squish it out. Next step is to taste it, which is why I didn't want one of these in the first place. I'm really kinda skeptical about how this is gonna taste. But here goes nothing, guys. 
it really isn't that bad. The only thing I would say is the sauce is really sweet, but other than that, it isn't that bad. Which I'm gladly surprised by, um, but that's not a bad thing because I ate it. I had to eat it. Um, but other than that, it was super fun to make and it wasn't, it's not bad tasting at all. So if you want it, if you were skeptical about buying it before and you want to buy it, I'd say go ahead and buy it because it was, like I said, fun. If you don't like the taste, it was at least fun to make. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching another Kids Play TV video. If you want to see more, go ahead and click our channel and scroll through it. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. I'll also leave a little button right there for you guys to click. And thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and like the video. And then, as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!